Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to paint a fading sunset sky and it's going to be realistic as well because it's based on a sunset I've actually seen in real life. If you're new to oil painting, before you watch this tutorial, please watch my oil painting basics video where I discuss all the very basics you should know. To start out, I'm going to be mixing a little bit of Gal Kid and Gamzol as my medium and I'm going with a 50-50 ratio. This painting is just going to be one layer. The colors I'm working with for this painting are Titanium White, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red Light, and Cadmium Lemon. I also brought in a bit of Ivory Black towards the end. Normally I would create an underpainting, but this is a very quick and easy painting. I'm just going to go right into the blank canvas with color. So I start out with mixing Titanium White and Cerulean Blue Hue for the lighter parts of the sky. It's a little bit darker towards the top. I'm also gradually adding a little bit of my medium onto my palette as I'm mixing these colors to increase the flow of the paint and make the application a lot smoother. And I do this for basically all my colors throughout the painting. But I don't add too much because I don't want the paint to be transparent since this is mostly going to be one layer. Then I mix Ultramarine Blue and Alizarin Crimson and this is for the darker clouds that are closer to the viewer that are at the top of the painting and they are more shadowed and they appear slightly purple. I just softly blend them into the lighter colors I placed down previously. Then I brought in more of the cerulean sky color and very softly blended it with these darker clouds. I also placed some of that darker purple color towards the very bottom. Then I mixed some alizarin crimson with titanium white, cadmium lemon, and my camera cut out at these parts but I mixed a bunch of titanium white with cadmium lemon and this was a very light color that I used to create the brightest part at the bottom where the sun had just set so there's just still light being illuminated there. And again it cut off but I mixed some cadmium red with titanium white and added that to the bottom of the bottom part of the sunset. Now I'm mixing some alizarin crimson with ultramarine blue, titanium white, cadmium red, more titanium white and blue to lighten it up a bit. And this is being blended in between the red tones that I added previously and I gradually just blend some of those purple toned sky colors together. I added a little bit of cerulean blue as well to make the transitions in the sky smoother. There are also some red tones from the sunset that kind of uh, reflect on the clouds. They were illuminating the clouds, so for that color I used alizarin crimson, cadmium red light, and a bit of titanium white, and I just kind of dabbed the brush over these clouds. Then I went over it with a dry brush to smooth out those brush strokes and give it a softer look. Mm -hmm. 
I brought in some more cadmium lemon to blend in with the reds at the bottom part and create a smooth transition of an orange tint. Then I used those same colors and I dabbed over some of the more distant clouds at the bottom which are also illuminated by the sunset. I then added some ivory black to my palette and I mixed a very small amount with ultramarine blue and I used this to build up the depth in the clouds to make them a little bit darker. Then with the ivory black I started painting on the silhouettes of the trees. I wasn't trying to make it perfect, I just used a small line brush to just dab the paint on and it gives the illusion of leaves. I wasn't focusing intensely on making them actual leaf shapes, so I was just being very free with it and dabbing it on there and it ended up looking like what I needed it to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it a little bit helpful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos from me. I post painting tutorials, painting time lapses, art talks, sometimes vlogs, all kinds of stuff. I also really appreciate your feedback in the comments section. So thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.